Welcome to our Five on Five. We're joined by Teddy Abrams, music director for the Brit Orchestra. Thanks for being here. Great to be back in Southern Oregon. Oh, absolutely. So you came into town for an event on Valentine's Day is what I hear. Can you tell me about that? That was our season kickoff, kind of our big party that announces everything that we're going to do when the Brit Orchestra comes back here in the summer. We look forward to announcing the programs all year. We work very hard. This is actually a full year's worth of work in the making to figure out what we're going to play and how the concerts are going to look, all the big projects that we take on. So that was our opportunity to share that with our audiences and uh, get people excited about the summer. Wow, that's fantastic. And we are getting ready for the season coming up. What excites you about this year? Well, just like every season, we try and plan a really remarkable and special spread of music that takes people all the way back to the great master composers of the past, people uh, like Beethoven that, that everybody knows and, and feels a connection to, to composers that you might not know yet, but I believe you're going to love. And that includes people who've written pieces of music just this last year. Uh, in fact, we even have a composer-conductor fellowship that we started. This will be the second year of that. This year, Christopher Cerrone is going to be our composer and conductor fellow, and we're going to play one of the pieces that he just recently composed, and he's going to be conducting a little bit. So it's everything from that to the absolute masterpieces like Mahler's Symphony No. 6, perhaps the greatest symphony ever set down on paper. So it's a huge spread of music, and every year uh, we just start kind of uh, getting excited about going back to the Brit Hill and sharing it with everybody. Yeah, it sounds like a really wide range. Yes. Speaking of, your first concert coming up is pretty special. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, last year's Pops concert was a John Williams spectacular. It was, you know, everyone loves John Williams. He's universally loved. And that concert completely sold out, and, and it was a huge hit. And so this year we thought, well, people love that kind of theme. They love connecting with music that you already are familiar with. Of course, we love introducing people to new music, but one of the things that, that helps build bridges between people that perhaps haven't gone to the orchestra before and uh, people that already love it are those pieces of music that are familiar to everyone. So this year's Pops concert, which actually opens the whole season, is all about classical music that's been used in the movie. And, of course, if you think of uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey, there's a lot of classical music in, in that particular uh, movie. And so we're going to play music from that, for instance. Uh, the Sorcerer's Apprentice, uh, Barber's Adagio, pieces that, of music that have become part of our kind of uh, collective understanding of, of how music affects us emotionally. And we all know all these pieces. So it's, it's kind of like a total blockbuster program. And that kicks off the season. And, I, I, I mean, my philosophy is if you like what you see there, come back to the rest of the, the programs because every single one just builds and builds on, on all that great music. We're going to talk about that in a second. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're joined by Teddy Abrams, music director for The Brit. So before the break, we were talking about this movie music concert yes. that you have coming up that's pretty exciting. That, that's right. So what can people look forward to at that concert? Well, as I said, that concert is filled with pieces of music that you already know and love. There is going to be some John Williams. We're doing Star Wars, which everybody loves to see Star Wars played by an orchestra live. There are pieces by Mussorgsky. You might not know who Mussorgsky is, but he wrote a very famous piece uh, uh, called Night on Bald Mountain that was part of Fantasia. So you'll recognize that. As I said, uh, Samuel Barber's Adagio is kind of the universal togetherness piece. It's both sad and reflective, but it was used in Platoon. People know it from that. It's the slow motion scene. Uh, Strauss, maybe you don't know Richard Strauss as a composer yet. I hope everybody gets to develop a relationship with his music, but his also Sprague Sauerthustra is that very famous opening scene from 2001 Space Odyssey. So you'll see all of those pieces played live as the composers originally intended them to be played with an orchestra right on stage in all of its uh, kind of technicolor power. It's incredible. Wow, lots to look forward to. Can people buy tickets now? Yes, they can. And something I'm very proud of since I, I became the music director of the Brit Orchestra, I've said, we need to make Brit for everyone. Brit should be something for the whole Southern Oregon community. And one of the ways we can do that is by actually lowering ticket prices. And I know most people find this hard to believe. They very rarely lower any prices for anything in today's world, but we have slowly taken down our lawn ticket pricing. Now, 
It's just 20 bucks for any one of our concerts for The Lawn, which is one of the, I think, most beautiful ways to experience a, a concert. And for the opening night, the Pops concert, it's just $10 for The Lawn. So we're very, very excited about this, and, and that's what we're trying to, to provide for everybody here in the community, something that they can all enjoy together. And it is very special because the Brood Orchestra is an, an, an all-star orchestra. Oh, fantastic. Teddy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Stay with us. We'll be right back.